everyone on the wretched cackling hen show, The View, just got treaded by an immigrant who dropped truth bombs on the entire cast of hosts. I'm not sure Joy Behar has ever looked this embarrassed in her pathetic leftist life of accomplishing nothing during her tenure on The View. I'm not sure who watches this show as I've not ever heard anyone talk about it in public. The only time I ever see it on someone's television is usually in the empty waiting room of a doctor's office, and I always turn the channel when it's on. The View is a show that even deaf people can't bring themselves to watch. It's incredible to see guests go on the show and annihilate them with fact-based evidence to counter any and all claims made by the drooling liberal old hens. It was a colossal mistake when The View brought the successful Antonio Sabato Jr. on the show. AG's best known for being a model and actor on General Hospital. AG's also considering running for Congress in California. Sabato is also an immigrant. The hosts of The View may have thought that if they brought a successful, popular, and good-looking immigrant on the show, that the aunt of mostly women would ooze over him. The hosts of The View probably thought that since Sabato is an immigrant, that he would automatically talk poorly about President Donald Trump and the topic of building a wall at the border of Mexico. It backfired. Everything went horribly. It was one of the worst ideas The View ever had, and it was hilarious to watch them burn in their own backfired misery of liberal stupidity. Joy Behar especially looked stupid when she asked Sabato questions about being an immigrant, talked about the Trump border wall, and then was instantly regretting her decision to open that floppy mouth of hers. Daily Caller provided more on the exchange which was an epic fail for the view, you call yourself an immigrant, but you're in favor of the wall being built, being paid for by the American people and keeping other immigrants out of the country much like yourself, she added. The way I see it, I want the American people to be taken care of first, Sabato, who is running for Congress in California, responded. I don't want the American people to take care of everybody else's problem. But if they felt that way when your family was coming over here you would still be in Italy, Joy Behar interrupted. I came here legally. We had to wait in line and struggle and save a lot of money, Sabato shared. There's people like that waiting in line. So, they deserve their chance. We need to legalize. I mean, there has to be reform, dot, but at the same time we need to protect our borders and build. But logically people who are coming in even legally or illegally are flying in, they are not jumping over a wall, Bahar exclaimed. It's a waste of money. I SNT it that's how I see it. We are arresting at the border 1,000 people every single day, Sabato said. And there's probably a lot more coming in. So we can't allow that to happen and they're bringing a lot of us or whatever. So, we need to protect the American people. That's all I'm saying. And you think this wall is going to do it, Baha quipped. It's done it for Israel. Mexico has a got a wall, Sabato shared. Why can't we? It's a very big, big, big expensive wall we're talking about. And it may not be cost effective. We spend $100 billion on immigration every year. The wall will cost will probably cost less than $20 billion, the actor shared. So, we will save a lot of money. If they'd exchanged between Sabato and Baha ISNT one of the most glorious in your face conversations you've ever read, then you'll have to show us something better in the comments. Sabato is a legal immigrant who stands for the concept of being a good civilian and the principles behind following the law and doing things the legal way. Sabato understands that building a wall for a cheap $20 billion is a lot less than spending $100 billion on an annual basis. Meanwhile, the concept of fundamental math seems to escape the thought process of women on the view. California is a miserable state being run into the ground by the Democrat leadership. If Sabato gains a seat in Congress, then he might contribute to the help that the Western Coast Sunshine State desperately needs. If they're not protecting sanctuary city criminals, then they're telling people it's only a misdemeanor to infect someone with HIV purposely. No wonder people are moving out faster than a squatter invading a mansion with unlocked doors. For the web powered by Zergnet Olympic figures Cater handles wardrobe malfunction perfectly Here's who Jackie Kennedy thought had her husband killed The real reason Jennifer Aniston and Justin Theroux split This is what's at the center of Bristol Palin's divorce Why Bob Costas is nowhere to be found at the 2018 Olympics The victims of the Florida school shooting revealed